fire safety testing, it looks very dramatic, but what does it actually prove? Well, it proved that the valve is capable of withstanding a fire, like uh, in, in, in a plant could be also. Uh, so what kind of tests or measurements do you perform then during this uh, testing procedure? We're measuring what the valve is leaking uh, via the seat and also external. And how are you measuring this? What kind of fluid are you using? We're using uh, water and using a uh, test pressure in the standard. And after the, the test is done, we have uh, added water amount and we also have a collected water amount of the seat leakage. And to show what the external leakage is, we will deduct the seat leakage from the total amount of added water. So you're simulating a refinery fire. How do you know the temperature inside is hot enough? The temperatures are described in the procedure as well. So we are monitoring them with our recorder. And during the fire, we just have to see if all temperatures reach the, the temperature they need to have within the time specified in the procedure. I understand you're very proud of the burner arrangement you have. Why is that? Because we had uh, problems with similar uh, uh, separate burners in the past and now we have created one uniform fire so that the valve will heat up very uniform as well. And, and this is better for the quality of the results? Yeah, if you have uh, separate burners you can have uh, spot temperatures on the valve which can cause in wrong uh, seat leakages as well. And when the test is concluded, uh, I understand you get to play the role of fireman? Yeah, yeah, that's also, uh, we have to cool it down with, uh, force cool it with water, just like normal fire department would do when they're uh, distinguishing a fire on the plant as well. How many valves would you say pass the test and how many fail? That really depends on the valve manufacturer's know-how about uh, designing a fire safe valve. We have once had a customer with six valves in three days and only one valve failed the test. We also had performed uh, 10 valves in a week where only two valves passed the test. So it really depends on the know-how of the developer.